All right, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. It's time. It's time to talk about this little USANA SIG Rhythm Kit. Unboxed it a few weeks ago in a vlog. Been using it ever since. Been really fascinated by this. It uses vibrations to create vapor. It is a coilless system. Uh, it's interesting. It's real weird. We're going to get out and vape it uh, and talk about actually how it vaped. But right now, I just kind of want to talk about how this little package is put together right here. So this is the mod. I think it's made out of zinc. It feels real weighty, real heavy in the hand. I mean, not crazy heavy, but it has some substantial weight to it, which I really like. This whole arm right here is the fire button. You kind of hold it like this and you press it down and it's got a slight little like clicking sensation to it. It's actually a very satisfying button to click. And it's off right now, but you can give it five. And I see a lot of people these days like really going fast with the five, like one, two, three, four, five. You don't need to go that fast. Any mod in 2018, ready? One, two, three, four, five. There you go, and it turns on. You're gonna get a little bit of a light show, and all of these little dots right here represent how full your battery is. So every time you press the button, the dots are gonna illuminate, and the S is going to illuminate, and as you lose battery life, these will slowly, slowly disappear until you're down to just one down here, and then that means you need to charge it. It has a 1500 ma or milliamp battery on the inside, which is, uh, it's nice. I've gotten a nice, uh, nice long battery life with this. It's pretty small. It's pretty comfy in the hand. I don't love this giant switch on here. I would have much preferred maybe just a little tactile button on like on this surface right here so you could kind of just hit it and have your button there. As it stands, you can't do that. You have a big, big sort of clicky swivel arm button. I don't know if this is just fancy marketing or whatever for this button, but the website says, redefine the fire button, the shapes inspired by a musical note and deliver the dramatically cozy feeling to your finger, such as enjoying the elegant melody. Man machine engineering design, inner arc shape of the trigger button was considered for perfectly fitting your finger, and it does. It feels real nice, perfectly fitting the finger. Mechanical trigger button, utilize the lever principle to wrap your hand with Archimedes wisdom. I have no idea what that means, but I think that means that this is the fire button. So getting on to the tank or the pod, you can call it a pod, you can call it a tank. I call it a tank just because it's big. When I think of a pod, I think of something like this that is, you know, a, a tiny little pod thing. I feel like this falls more into the category of a tank than a pod. But there's magnets down there at the bottom and that's where it's going to connect and it kind of just drops in. You can only put this in one way. You need to make sure your USANA SIG logo is facing out so you can just drop it in. But it goes in, it sits in there real nice. There's a little bit of play like side to side, especially back and forward. There's a lot of play in this. I wish there was something other than magnets holding this in just so you didn't have that sort of like really big play back and forth and side to side. But overall, it fits in there real nice. This is where your airflow is going to come from and this airflow not adjustable in any way, but we'll talk about that when we get back up to normal view. And then here's your drip tip right here, which is proprietary. It's their own drip tip. It's non-removable, non-replaceable. That's the drip tip you're using. You do get a replacement tank in the packaging as well. It comes with a silicone cover that is easily discarded. And then I'm gonna show you right here, that's how you fill it. You have two big kidney-shaped juice fill holes there. I've been using these smaller V-God bottles to fill this up with no issues whatsoever, but I could imagine if you had something large, like a 100 ml bottle, you're going to try to get your little tip right into this little corner right here. You could probably run into, you know, a, a lot of issues as far as you know, being able to actually do that without your big bottle getting in the way. So you might end up having to transfer your big bottle of juice into a smaller bottle of juice in order to uh, fill this efficiently. And then it's just a really quick twist like that and now it's completely closed off. I was worried when I first got this that this was going to be too easy to twist. For some reason I envisioned this like being in my pocket or something like this and accidentally twisting open and kind of getting juice everywhere. It doesn't. 
it, it, it slides and it's nice and glidey, but it always stays shut and it always stays open when I'm filling it. It's got a two mil capacity on the tank, which isn't a whole hell of a lot of juice, but with this particular vape, you're not gonna be plowing through juice like crazy. So the two mil capacity, I, I found it to be just fine. And one other thing I'm gonna mention while we're up close and personal here, when you first fill up this tank for the very, very first time, fill it up and let it sit literally for like 10 to 15 minutes. These little tanks from the factory come with a PG already on the inside in that ultrasonic vibrating vaporizing element in there. They ship it with PG to keep it from drying out. So if you just fill this and start vaping it, all you're gonna taste is just raw PG at first, which you can definitely vape through. That's what's considered break-in time when you're vaping through that PG. But the longer you let this sit with liquid in it, the better experience you're gonna have right away. You need to give this thing some time to really soak up that juice. And even after it's already soaked up as much juice as it can, your first couple toots are going to taste like pure PG, but we're gonna talk about that when we get back out to normal view, which I believe we are going to do, boom, right now. So yeah, I mean, it's vaping and it's vaping without coils and it's just, it's kind of a bizarre experience with as long as I have been vaping, you just get really used to the way that things vape. You can look at a sub ohm tank and you can know instantly right away, that's how this sub ohm tank is going to vape. You can look at RDAs and go, oh, that's how that RDA is going to vape. This vapes like, nothing I have ever tried before. It's coilless, so it produces a real, like, cool vapor. It's not warm in any capacity. It's a very, very cool vapor. It is very flavorful eventually. Like I said in the up close, these tanks or pods or whatever you want to call them, I'm calling it a tank. These tanks come like pre uh, sort of, I don't know, it's not filled, but they come pre coated with PG already on it. So when you fill it up, you got to let it sit for a real long time. Otherwise, you're just going to taste PG at first. And even after you let it sit for a really long time, there's a good chance that your first like, I don't know, one full tank maybe, which isn't necessarily a negative thing, but PG, it just doesn't taste like much. It's gonna taste like your juice is muted. At first, this is gonna taste like it has bad flavor. Once it breaks in and once you vape through that PG, the flavor is going to improve like 100 fold. The other kind of really bizarre quirky thing about the way that this vapes is it does have that real long ramp up time. I mean, just a real long ramp up time. If you're coming from something like, you know, like a smoke regulated mod with a sub ohm tank or like, you know, a Vaporesso regulated mod with a sub ohm tank and you have that quick responsive fire button and you have that like instant vapor satisfaction in your mouth and that's what you're used to, this is going to be a completely, completely different vape experience. What I'm gonna do to show you how long the ramp up time is, uh, I'm just going to exhale. I'm gonna blow into this and I'm gonna hold down the button and you're eventually gonna see some wispy vapor kind of start coming out the sides before I take like a full toot. You kind of have to either take a real long drag or you kind of give it a little bit of a purge before you take your drag. But here you go, I'll show you. I'll press the button and I'll just start exhaling. Ready? One, two, three. It's kind of a, it's kind of a process. You're you're either purging or you're taking a real real long drag and I could have just kept going. You can take an excessively excessively long drag on this if you want to in order to get that like bigger ish cloud that you might be used to if you're not if you're not after clouds if you're not you know after some sort of like big cloud sure you can take a much much 
shorter drag on it. I have this loaded up right now. I wish I had lower nicotine in this to begin with. I loaded it up with 25 milligram V-God Mango Bomb Salt Nick, which I'm not a huge fan of Salt Nicks to begin with. I really wish I would have put some 12 milligram like freebase nicotine in here. I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more. For me personally, this doesn't really fit the way that I like to vape. It's a little bit too big and bulky to be like a true like stealthy, stealthy kind of pod system, which I find myself in a lot of situations where I like, you know, where I enjoy using a stealthy, stealthy pod system. And this is a little bit too big, I think, for that kind of application. This is really more along the lines of like a mod, like a mod and a tank. I think when does a pod system, you know, kind of not become a pod system anymore? And I think the answer is the rhythm from USANA SIG. And I've been using this same tank with this same juice for a few weeks now. I mean, this gets heavily, heavily used. I became fascinated with this like as soon as I got it I wanted to use it and I want to use it every single time I see it I go oh yeah that little rhythm mod let's grab that let's let's vape on this for a long time it's just something I don't know I'm still fascinated by it even though it does have that break-in period even though there's no adjustable airflow even though you know XYZ there's these things that I kind of don't really enjoy about it I'm still fascinated by it. I'm fascinated by this coilless technology. I don't think that USANA SIG kind of hit this out of the park right now, but I think at the very least, it's a super interesting concept for vaping. I mean, coilless vaping, that's, I don't know, I feel like that's some real innovation there. I just don't think that the technology is quite there yet, but USANA SIG, definitely taking a step in the right direction. As far as the overall quality of this device goes, it's top notch. Feels real good, real slick, nice and techy. The click of this little lever is the single most like satisfying click sound. It's just, it's just a wonderful, wonderful click. Okay, enough rambling. Let's wrap this up. Down to brass tacks. Are you going to need your vape budget hands if you want to check out the rhythm USANA SIG? Eh. Not really. Found it around the internet anywhere from like 35 to 40 bucks, which is, I mean, that's borderline cheap enough just to buy it, just to try it out. And I'm not saying that people should do that, but if you're interested in a coilless vaping system, the USANA SIG Rhythm is really the only, uh, it's the, really the only game in town right now. Now, if we're going to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have literally nothing left to vape, is this something I'm going to seek out and buy right away? Nah, probably not. As fascinated as I am by it, it's not something that I would probably seek out and buy. What I am waiting for and what I am anticipating is sort of the next like generation of this. I'm interested to see where USANA SIG goes with this technology. If we could get it in maybe a little bit smaller of a, of a size of a device, maybe a little bit different of a, of a tank, maybe they can you know, improve the technology so that it doesn't have that really long ramp up time. Maybe that ramp up time is something that's unavoidable with this kind of technology, but at the very least, I'm really interested to see where this goes and I'm interested to see what USANA SIG comes up with in the future as far as coilless vaping. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. That's what I got for today, everybody. No links in the description, so you'll have to use your Google Foo, but it is the USANA Sauna Sig Rhythm. Thank you so much for watching one last time. And as always, no matter what is in your hand, let's keep on vaping, friends.